Hello and welcome to Verdict Town. I'm Sheetal Joon and you're watching today's legal news where we update you with the latest legal developments across the country and world. Starting with the headlines. AOR role very important Supreme Court to consider framing guidelines for conduct of advocates on record. Delhi High Court expunges observation against investigation officer of ED in money laundering case. Madras High Court sets aside lower court order in favor of Lottery Baron Santiago Martin ED to revive case. Madras High Court affirms a Muslim woman's right to seek damages for bigamy defines domestic violence. Now the news in detail. The Supreme Court has said that it will frame guidelines for the conduct of advocates on record. The court sought assistance from the Supreme Court AOR Association in this regard and appointed senior advocate S. Murlidhar as amicus curiae. The court was hearing a special leave petition in a criminal case against a Delhi High Court order in the process of which certain facts were suppressed by the appearing advocates. The division bench of Justice Abhayas Oka and Justice Augustine George Massey said, A very important role has been assigned to the advocates on record as no litigant can seek a redressal of his grievance before this court without engaging an advocate on record. It is therefore necessary to consider framing guidelines for the conduct of the advocates on record. The case pertains to the conviction of a person by the trial court sentencing him to undergo a sentence of 30 years. The court in that order said while there was a reference to an order of conviction, it was not disclosed that the sentence was for a fixed term of 30 years. The court called it a very serious and gross case of material misrepresentation made while filing the special leave petition. The court asked the registry to issue notice to AOR Jaidi Party. Party was directed to file an affidavit explaining his conduct. The Delhi High Court has expunged the observation made by a trial court against the investigating officer of the Enforcement Directorate in a matter of filing a charge sheet without arresting the alleged main kingpin who is absconding for a long time in a money laundering case. The ED had challenged two orders passed by the special judge of Rouse Avenue Court in the matter. This case is related to Lakshya Vij and the other accused. Justice Anup Jairam Bhambani, after hearing submissions of the Enforcement Directorate, has expunged the observation by the special judge in the matter. He emphasized that adverse remarks made by a court against government servants have a serious delicious impact on their official record and on their careers, especially if such remarks are unwarranted or unjustified. The Madras High Court has set aside a Judicial Magistrate's 2022 order accepting the closure report filed by the Central Crime Branch Police in a criminal case against Lottery Baron Santiago Martin, his wife M. Lima Rose and three others pursuant to the seizure of Rs 7.20 crore from the residence of them. A division bench of Justice S.M. Subramaniam and Justice V. Sivanganam allowed a criminal revision petition filed by the Directorate of Enforcement against the acceptance of the closure report by the magistrate and permitted the ED as well as the CCB to continue the prosecution under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act PMLA of 2002 and the provisions of the Indian Penal Code respectively. Additional Solicitor General A.R.L. Sundaresan, representing the ED, has argued that the investigating agencies were duty-bound to ensure that no accused goes scot-free from a serious economic offence. He said that the ED was unable to probe the matter under the PMLA of 2002 just because an investigating officer attached to the CCB had decided to close the case booked for the predicated offence. The Madurai bench of the Madras High Court has ruled that a Muslim woman has the right to seek damages from her bigamous husband as his action can cause mental harm and qualify as domestic violence under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act of 2005. Hearing a petition, Justice G.R. Swaminathan stated that if a Muslim woman contests the legitimacy of a triple talaq divorce issued by her husband, he must seek a judicial ruling demonstrating the court that he followed the proper legal procedure for the talaq. Additionally, the judge emphasized that Shariat councils, which are community-based groups, do not possess the authority to adjudicate divorce cases. Only state-established courts have the power to make legal judgments, he noted, underscoring that Shariat councils operate as private entities and not as judicial bodies. This decision arose from a domestic dispute involving a doctor couple who married in 2010 under Islamic customs and had a son together. In 2018, the wife who works in the government filed a complaint under the 2005 Act. That was all on today's legal news. Thank you and keep watching Verdictum. Subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android devices for the latest legal updates.